Hey guys, welcome back. This is Sean, the Magic the Gathering guy. Uh, and yesterday, this was our first box opening. These are some of the great cards we had when we opened up um, War of the Spark. So I'm just going to clean these up. And then what we'll do is we will open the second box today. Just to recap, we got uh, Teferi. We had Bolas, Nissa, Karn, Spark Double, God Eternal Bantu, God Eternal Rona, God Eternal Orteca. Guard Eternal Cafet and Ileana Dreadhorde. Okay, so it was a very good box. I'm going to put these bad boys up there. And we are going to get started with our second box. And of course, before we get started on our second box, you always got to have the right tool for the job. In this case, we pull out a big sword. And we just, you know, poke at it until it cuts open. See, we can cut with a sword now. Isn't that cool? Because when you cut with a sword, everything else seems very easy. But that's okay. That is okay. Except you know what the problem is? I can't put the cover back on the sword. And that is taking forever. But that's okay. Because it's a Sunday. We got time. So hopefully some of you guys had a good time at the pre-release. You enjoyed yourselves. Opened some great packs. Had some good stories and memories to share. You know, I hope that's the way it goes for you. I know that's the way it went for me. What I'll do is I'll pull all these packs out and we'll put them all over here. Nice big awesome stacks. Put the box down there and we'll get started. Of course, you know, all hail the Mox Amber because, you know, that's why it's funny. And hold on, move these. I don't know. I have them stacked like this. What are these ones again? These are uncommons. Uncommons I better stack over here from yesterday. And we'll bust right into this, okay? So yesterday we had some great cards. We're hoping to do even better today. Uh, let's see if we get lucky here. I'm going to skip by all the commons, of course, even though some are pretty awesome. Uh, Emergent Zone, Kaya. Oh, uh, Perilon. Okay, Perilon's good. And I'll put the things. I'll keep. I'll show you the foils, too, if they come up. I'll stick to the rares and the uncommons as the main ones I show, just for uh, time's sake. It can take a long time to go through everything really quickly. So we got Jace's Triumph, Nisa's Triumph. We got a lot of Triumph here. Uh, Jaya. Oh, we got Tosslimer again. And a couple of nothings. By the way, the artwork on these lands is totally beautiful. I hope you guys take a minute to enjoy them. And there are some commons that are worthwhile looking at, guys. I'm not going to say they're not. It's just for my... Oh, Conjurant. I want more of those. Oh, look at that. We got a Conjurant. We followed that through with another Nicobolus. Oh, look how beautiful he looks. Oh, he looks gorgeous. Nicobolus is our first Mythic. I'll put the Mythics in the middle. Rares and Uncommons to the sides. Hello, Nicobolus. How are you? I know you guys all want to say that. Y'all want to say... I know you lost, which I don't know how he lost, but that's okay. Well, you know, he lost. Things happen. He's bitter. I'd be bitter too. Uh, Define strike. Why not? All right. Uh, Mayhem Devil, Devouring Helion, Rally of the Wings. Oh, we got Dormy, Dami, Dormy, Dormry. He's dead now anyway. He got his spark torn out. He's done. Done like dinner. By the way, in case you guys haven't noticed, Mox Amber took a took a slight dip. I guess people weren't finding the exact combinations they wanted to to go with this one. Uh, but I've already seen a couple. So I will put some decks together. Oh, nice, Soren. Oh, look at my foil rare. Now, who was it who wanted Toslimer? Look at that. Make a comment on that one, boys and girls. That's a nice foil rare. Very nice. I have no idea. I have no idea. But you know what? That's okay. Things are going great. I enjoy it. All right. I wonder if you guys heard my wife yelling in the background. I wonder if that was okay. Ha! All right, we got a Tibolt. Ooh, we got Storarev. Devakin Lich. That's okay. He looks pretty cool. All right, let's see what the next one is here. Let's see what we can pull up. We might get lucky today. Yeah, but anyway, we'll see if some of these cards stabilize. Uh, I think you're going to see it still find a home. Just a question of when. Oh, nice. Ralz Eric. All right, Storm Conduit is a pretty good card, especially for forecasting cost again. Let's see here. All right, and we got Bo Oh, I got another Conjurant. Oh wait, I put the Conjurant in the wrong pile just because I think it's that good. But that's okay. So I got a play set of uh, Conjurants between two boxes, which is not 
anything to sneeze at. I'm content with that. It means I don't have to go hunting for any. I wish they were in foil. Oh, see, I did it again. I keep thinking planeswalkers are like always rare, and it's not the case, but I keep doing it. So already with Nicobolus, who's going for like 30, 40 bucks, we're already making a good chunk of uh, damage on this box, which is nice. Jace again, Bond. Oh, we got uh, Vivian. I, I'm not really impressed with this card, to be honest. Um, you know, so a creature gains vigilance and reach until the end. Of, I mean, it's okay, but it's nothing. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't find that pressure. I mean, and the funny thing is, it's one of the cards you can actually add a plus to it instead of just negatives, but I don't see it being that uh, that used so far anyway. Oh, oh, we got another Karn, the Great Creator. Ooh, Karn. You know what I've been doing, by the way, guys? I just realized I've been um, putting all these rares on top of my only Mythic. So I'm sorry about that. The Mythic will stay there. Rares go back over here. My comments go there, and I apologize for my my meanness in not showing you the great dragon god. All right, we go there, we go there, okay. We got a Paradise Druid, Gleaming Overseer, Kazmina, who I've not used. Oh, hey, we already got him. He already showed himself. <laughs> We're getting replication. Yeah, give me a replication of Nick of, of, of Nicobolus. That's what I want a replication of. You know, give, give me give me some I can play with here. Ooh, Sahili. I like her too. Dread Quarter, a canister. I don't know. I don't see him being that that amazing either. So we're almost halfway through the box here, guys. We've already hit a couple of great cards. Uh, let's see if we can keep going on the streak here. Nah. Oh, Deliver Unto Evil. Great card as well. I still don't know if it'll see a lot of play, but it, it is still not too shabby. That's for sure. All right. Next one up here we got is... Oh, Sunblade there. Ash Shock's going to be a great card. All right. Casualties of War. I haven't pulled this one yet, but it says, look at this thing. Choose one or more. Destroy target artifact, target creature, target enchantment, target land, and target planeswalker. It is six, but it will probably see play just because of its versatility. I think you'll see it. It won't be an expensive card, but it's going to see play. So people will go for play sets, so it'll probably be a couple bucks. At least in, in this format for now. Before it rotates out. It's got a couple years to find a home. All right, we got there, there. Okay, we got uh, Tamio, Collector of Tales. Again, it's a forecasting cost. It is not bad. Um, I love the fact that, you know, you can't be forced to discard cards. So against Black in this series, it's an amazing card. There are some pluses to it, right? And the fact it can return things from your graveyard to your hand in standard could be a lot of fun. <laughs> Just got to choose the right card. Oh, I see a foil, guys. Did you see the foil? All right, Bioessence Hydra, good card, but it's five. And uh, just a basic foil. Meh, yeah, it's okay. Um, Bioessence Hydra, I think it will see play. It is a pretty sick card. Of course, you know, you always got to have a Hydra in Magic, right? Always got to have a Hydra. Anyway, back to stuff like, uh, you know, the important cards of life. All right, those are there. Soul Div Oh, another foil common. That's okay. And, of course, we got Soul Diviner. Uh, and it's, so it's okay. Right? It's okay. Because it's still nice to know you can take away some things and, and, and draw some cards, which is always good. Yeah, immersion zone. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, did I do this wrong? Put the uncommons almost in the common pile. Uh, Cura, which will definitely see play. Uh, legendary guy. I don't know. He's he's okay, but I wish he had haste. That'd make it more worthwhile. All right, guys. Sorry. I'm going to try to hurt this up a little bit for you. Uh, go there, go there. Okay. Uh, Paradise Druid, Rouse Outburst, Tyrant Scroll. Oh, look at what we found here. We got another Teferi Tom Reveler. And Teferi is awesome, guys. He does work with Flip at the Lost. He has been quite useful to me, especially when you add in Proliferate to get the extra counter to go it going faster. Um, he saw, I, I he was a prime card in my deck at the pre-release, and he did help me win my pre-release. So I got to be honest that he was pretty awesome. Mism Tanks, I don't care about. It's just something about it. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, it comes an artifact creature and gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Whoopee. That does not make it a great card at all for a rare. That's it. Sorry, I'm calling on that one. Does not know. Uh, Nahiri was good, by the way, because she can be splashed into two colors, and the fact she was doing damage to everything and gave your stuff first strike was very nice. 
I was very happy with that because I comboed that with um, uh, Teferi. I used it for I used it I used white blue for my tournament deck, and of course that's on the pre-release. Sorry, and you know I obviously kicked butt, which was awesome. Neoform, Jiangu. Uh, again, I talked about this one. It, I've had it a lot already. It's a five casting cost, but there's so many ways of getting rid of lands and creatures in this thing. You can't become too attached to any one card. You need like a multi-pronged approach if you're going to be playing any of the pre-releases and stuff. Oh, another uh, thing. Uh, I haven't read this one, guys. Uh, Finale of, of Eternity. Double black plus X. Destroy up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. If X is 10 or more, return all creature cards you gave it to the battlefield. Oh, that is a sick card. That's our second mythic. Very, very nice. I don't know if it can be worth anything, but it's very, very nice. All right, we got that there. Yeah, yeah. We got a very big, okay. Final Destruction and Pledge of Unity, which by the way, that foiling looks awesome. Too bad Gideon died. So, so far, we've got um, two Mythics in this box, where my last one, I think, had five, with all kinds of gods in it, but that's okay. We won't hold a grudge. We'll just keep things going. Um, Bolus' Citadel, I don't think, saw much play when I saw it there, but you never know. In the future, it might see some, just because if you can get 10 permanents out, it's doing some pretty sick stuff, but you still have to get 10 permanents out, which could be a Mox Amber. could be one of those 10 permanents. You know what I'm saying? It could be it. All right, let's see here. We got Evolution Sage, Major City, Veraska. That submarine's bothering me. I'm seeing too much of that submarine, I'm telling you. I prefer the other cards to that submarine. All right, I mean, I like the fact you can draw a card. I, I get it. I'm just saying. It could have a play. I mean, it could. I just don't know. I didn't. Oh, Tomic. I, I like him. Um, just because he's only too white to get out for a legendary. Two drop legendary is nice. So he will be in my white blue deck I'll be building for standard. I can call you that right now. All right. Eternal Sky Lord, Press Betrayal, Kea, and Ignite the Beacon is bothering me, guys. Search library for up to two Planeswalker cards, reveal them and put them into your hand. It's five casting costs. Unless it's a late game win, like you're going for a bolus or something, which isn't even the color of bolus, what's the point? Right? I just don't see it seeing a lot of gameplay right now. Or ever. So. All right. Cyclops, Grateful Apparition, Narset. The Elder Spell. This you will see. Okay? This is going to see play. Because it can destroy any number of target of Planeswalkers, right? And you get to put counters on your own. So if you use that with a Bolus deck, you are definitely going to do well with it. All right. Close up to the finish here, guys. we got like five packs left. Sorry, I'm starting to make a mess here because my pile's getting so big. All right, we've got Skydiver Triumph. Ashgrave again, which is nice. Widespread Brutality. A mass two. Thank you, was a mass deals damage. It was power to blah, 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 blah. Not that good. I would, I would not cast it for four. You know, it's not going to happen. All right, man. The pile off to the side here is huge, guys. Dovin might see play because his your artifact, instant, and sorcery spells cost one of your opponents, cost one more to cast. Slow them down a bit. Look at Mism Tank. Oh, Trusted Pegasus. Very pretty foiling. Right, Dovin, again, could go to my white blue deck I'm building. But only two of them. He's just there to help slow it down. All right, there's our Trusted Pegasus again. Oh, Nexus. Uh, time wipe. Return a target creature you control to its owner's hand and destroy all creatures. Not bad if you're trying to save your own stuff. I got that spinner yesterday too. All right. Last three packs. I have still not got an Ugin. What is going on here? I'm telling you. I want my Ugin. I haven't got my Ugin. But I got two of that Dread Horde Arcanist again. Because, you know, I seem to get a lot of him. Ugin's only a rare, and I can't get a rare. What's going on here? Anyway, you'll see... Uh, I think we're going to see Mox Amber get some play here, guys. I know, ooh, look at that. Jace, the Wielder of Mysteries. He will be in my deck as well. Mm -mm -mm. He is three blue, but that is not that hard to cast. When you got the Geode and stuff. All right, last pack. Let's hope it's a Nicol Bolas, guys. Let's hope... Not Nicol Bolas. Or, or, or we'll take an Ugin. Nicol Bolas or Ugin. Nicol Bolas or Ugin. What do you guys think? Will we get one? 
Will we get one? Interplanar Beacon, good card. Will we get one? Tyrant Scorn is not what we want. Voice of Arlen is not it. Okay, ready? Ready? It's, it's single combat, blah, blah, blah. It's horrible. All right, this box was not nearly as good as our other box. It only had two Mythics in it. Some of the rares were nice, but not God smacking. Um, it was okay, but compared to the last one where I had five Mythics, it just shows the boxes will have some differences. Okay, guys? So this is Sean, the Match of the Gathering guy. I hope you enjoyed the box opening. Uh, there wasn't a lot of comments on the first one. Uh, I'll be honest, guys. If I can't get a lot of comments and I can't you know, grab some more um, uh, subs from this, I'm going to have to cut back a bit just because it's, you know, it's quite an expenditure to put the money out, <laughs> to be honest. All right, guys, this is Sean the Magic of the Gathering Guy. Please, if you're new to the video, subscribe. Let us know you like it or don't like it or what you'd like to see, and we're happy to help out. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Happy Sunday to everybody. And remember, this is the week it comes out. I think on Friday you can buy it regularly. So let's see what we all get. Make some comments. Have some fun, guys. Here's a thumbs up, and cheers. Bye. <laughs>